All right, so we're given that dy dx equals 1 minus y e the x. y at negative x, when x is negative 0 0.5, y is equal to negative 1. We want to approximate what y, what y is when x equals 0 0.5. All right, there will be no solving of initial value problems right now. We just want to find delta x. Bam, so delta x is 0 0.5, which is our xb, so xb minus xa over n. So we said xb is the final x we're looking for, so that's 0 0.5 minus the initial x we're given, so that's negative 0 0.5 over, there's four steps, so that's over 4. So this is also 0 0.25, like in the last video. We can just say it's equal to 0 0.25. So now we want to set up our equation using Euler's method. Remember that says that y of n plus 1 is equal to y of n plus m of x of n, y of n times delta x. Okay. And m of x of n, y of n is the same as dy dx for our specific values of x and y at n. So, before we do this, we need to know what our x is from 0 to 4 are. So, at 0, let's write that underneath here, I guess. So, y of 0 is equal to negative 0 0.5. y of 1 is equal to negative 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25, so it's negative 0 0.25. Then y of 2 is in that plus 0 0.25, so that's just 0. And then x of 3 is 0 plus 0 0.25, so that's just 0 0.25. And then y4 is finally 0 0.5. Everything looks like it makes sense so far. So let's start off our problems. We have y1 equals x, just kidding, y1 equals y0 plus m of x of 0, y of 0 times delta x. Okay, so this right here is the same as we have y of 0 plus 1 minus y of 0 times e to the x of 0, delta x, okay? So let me write that here so you don't forget. So that's y of n plus 1 minus y of n e to the n, e of x to the n. And all of this times delta x, okay? So y of 0 is negative 1 plus 1 minus negative 1, so just 1 plus 1. So 1 times e to x of 0 is negative 0 0.5. All that times delta x, which is 0 0.25. So that's equal to, using your calculator, do, 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 that's negative 0.5984. Three six seven three three five one. Okay, so that's my one. Bam. And we shouldn't really say equal to because our calculators can only go so far. So that's basically y one, approximately. Or we should say approximately equal to negative point five nine eight for the sake of writing things out. All right, so then y of 2, that's the next step. Grab a different piece of chalk. Okay, so y of 2 is equal to y of 1 plus 1 minus y of 1 times e to just u the x. Delta x. So then we have 
Ah, okay, there we go. Then we have y of 2 is, I'll just keep writing this way. Well, we say that was approximately negative 0.598 plus 1 minus negative 0.598, so just plus 0.598 times e to the negative 0 0.25 times 0 0.25. Okay, so that comes out to approximately negative 0.2318650978. Okay, so that's y of 2. We just say that's like approximately equal to 0.232. Okay, but this is your y of 2. Blam. All right, two more left, y of 3. We have y of 3 is equal to y of 2 plus 1 minus y of 2 e to the x of 2 times delta x. So we're going to say that's negative 0.232 plus 1 minus negative, so just 1 plus 0.232 times e to the 0 times 0 0.25. Okay, so that's equal to da 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 point zero seven six one zero one one seven six seven approximately so which is approximately equal to just point zero seven six that's fine and then our y of 4 is equal to y of 3 plus 1 minus y of 3e to the x of 3 times delta x. We're almost done, guys. Keep going. We have is 0 0.076 plus 1 minus 0 0.076 times e to the 0 0.25 times 0 0.25. So that's approximately equal to 0.30167222154. And since y of 4 is the y of 0 0.5, this is our approximation that we were looking for. Yay, we're done. Excellent. We found the answer. And now, we're done. There you go. So you may have just noticed in this problem that I said Euler's method instead of Euler's method. Don't do that. That was big mispronunciation. It's Euler's method, period.